G'day, I'm Daniel. I am the digital designer here at Link. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Kef LSX Active Speakers and I'm very excited to get into this box because first of all it's for a project video we're doing which is going to be on using active speakers as an alternative to soundbars and I'm doubly excited because these are actually for me, well you know how it is when you're getting something for yourself, it's pretty exciting. So let's get into it and see what's inside. Okay, we only have four of these tabs. I very much appreciate the handle on the box. I'm a big sucker for boxes with handles. Okay, so straight away we have our power cables. There should be one in here for each speaker and what do you know? There is. Just have to fold this down to reach the next layer and we have a box of accessories. In here we have a quick start manual along with some other documentation. We also have the remote control which is identical to the one that comes with the LS50W. And lastly, we have a network cable, which is something I'll talk about in a bit. And here are the speakers themselves. Let's get them out of there. I think that might be everything in there. And uh, yeah, it's empty. First, let's unwrap this guy, which I believe is the master. And it is. So we have Kef's patented UniQ driver, while on the back here, we have a port to help enhance the low end. We also have an exhaust vent on the top here to let out air from the heat sink, since these contain a Class D amplifier each. We also have two physical buttons on the back, one for Bluetooth pairing and the other one for master-slave pairing. There's also this very small factory reset button, should you ever need it. Down below, we have an optical input, and beside that is an auxiliary port. This is important for me personally because I'll be using these on my desk with a PC. And while there is a USB port here, it's only for charging USB devices. So I'll be using an external DAC and feeding this into the auxiliary port. But if you're someone who wants to plug in, say, a record player or some other legacy device, this is how you do it. There's also a subwoofer out, so if that's your jam, you can totally take advantage of that. And lastly, there are two network ports. The first one allows you to connect the speaker to a router with a LAN cable. And the second one here is purely for connecting the master speaker to the slave speaker. Speaking of the slave speaker, here it is. And as mentioned before, this is the port that connects it to the master. So this is the KEF LSX active wireless speakers. Something I didn't point out before is this fabric finish around the outside. So you have a hard plastic front and back but then this nice fabric around the outside. These are the black models, which uh, I particularly like the look of, but they're also available in green, red, white. They come in a variety of colors, which is really awesome. In terms of actual specifications, they both contain a Class D amplifier. And while they are wireless speakers, wirelessly they will communicate with each other at 24-bit 48 kilohertz audio signal. But if you use the supplied ethernet cable, which I showed earlier, it will actually play audio 24-bit 96 kilohertz. So that's something to keep in mind. So via Wi-Fi or ethernet, you can stream networked music over DLNA, and it also supports Tidal through the Kef Stream app. So along with that, you also get access to Spotify Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, Aptix Bluetooth, as well as Rune compatibility. What's interesting about this is depending on what input signal you're using, the light on the front here will actually change. So you can always tell at a glance what audio input you're using based purely on the color of the light on the front of the unit. And of course, you have Kef's UniQ driver with its 19 millimeter aluminum dome tweeter inside the 10 centimeter mid and base cone. So that's our unboxing of the Kef LSX Active Wireless Speakers. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like or a comment in the comment section below. And hopefully we'll catch you next time. Have a great day, everybody.